Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about Republicans in North Carolina getting tired of the claims surfacing on social media. The situation in North Carolina with the aftermath of the storm is still ongoing. Rescue, relief, and recovery operations are underway. The area of concern is huge. It's about the size of Massachusetts. The task at hand is one that is going to take a long time to deal with. There have been a number of issues with bad information floating around that numerous people have tried to correct. But now we have some statements from people that even Trump supporters should listen to. In social media posts, Republican Kevin Corbin of the North Carolina Senate had this to say, quote, friends, can I ask a small favor? Will you all help stop this conspiracy theory junk that is floating all over Facebook and the internet about the floods? He goes on to list a few debunked conspiracy theories, including one about the weather being controlled from Antarctica. It goes on, please help stop this junk. It is just a distraction to people trying to do their job. Folks, this is a catastrophic event of which this country has never known. It's the largest crisis event in the history of NC. The state is working nonstop. He has stop and please in all caps, but honestly, I get it. He goes on to list all the resources and personnel that are out there working. He talks about how it will take months, if not years, to get back to normal. He's right. I was down in Panama City this week. Drive around the area near the mall. It still hasn't fully recovered from Hurricane Michael. He goes on to say, quote, Please don't let these crazy stories consume you or have you continually contact your elected officials to see if they are true. I just talked to one senator that has had 15 calls today about why we didn't stop fill in the blank. 98% chance it's not true. And if it is a problem, somebody is aware and on it and not waiting for a post to go through 10,000 people to be addressed. If he's not good enough for you, Senator Tom Tillis had a similar message. And if you don't know who Tillis is, he's currently a U.S. Senator from North Carolina, and he used to be the Republican Speaker of the North Carolina House of Representatives. Tillis was asked about the post I just read parts of on Face the Nation. He said, quote, Kevin is a friend of mine, and he's right to call out people. Many of these, these observations are not even from people on the ground. I believe that we have to stay focused on rescue operations, recovery operations, clearing operations, and we don't need any of these distractions on the ground. It's at the expense of hardworking first responders and people that are just trying to recover their lives. Tillis went on to say all of the stuff about the money going to migrants was bunk as well. He said, it was right to trash Biden over his immigration policies, not his words, but that it was not affecting the flow of resources into North Carolina. And quote, we have the resources that we need. During the interview, he also called for the relief and recovery operations to be put under military command. And that led to a whole bunch of questions from y'all. It's unusual, but it isn't unprecedented. Given the size of the area and the terrain involved, it might not be a bad idea here. Now, back to the claims. Those spreading these claims are doing so to try to make Biden look bad. That's really the goal. That are just clicks. No politician spreading these claims that are likely to make people not seek assistance is fit for office period. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.